Alrighty guys, how's she going today? So it'll just be a quickie video because I got nothing else to really, really nothing going on. Um, I kind of had just made a video just now and I kind of fucked it up. So I'm like, well, I'm just going to redo it. And plus, I got some some BS here that I think is BS. And I'm going to share that with you too. Um... But yeah, I just kind of got done plowing a little bit of snow here. It wasn't, well, I wasn't really plowing. I was just cleaning up edges. Um, and then the road grader showed up a couple days ago and he kind of filled in my driveway a little bit. So I had to kind of scrape that up. But he did that a couple days ago. And as you see, I just got out and did it today. So sick and tired of cleaning up his, up his damn mess all the time. So, but anyways, um, some of you guys were uh, wanting... Well, I was one guy that was wanting to know when I was going to do a live stream or whatever. Uh, I'm not going to do any for a while because, for one, I still have to kind of fine-tune it. And I have to order a mic. Um, I guess my computer does have mics built into it, but I don't think they would really do a good job. So I went and bought one on, on eBay for like three bucks. Free shipping. So, shut up, cat. So, I'll probably have that coming next week next week sometime um and i guess i probably won't be doing any live streams for a while plus i want to do them out here in the shop and i don't have uh internet wireless internet um with well, the range on my internet box is not long it's not far enough i think on this one it was only like 30 feet because our last internet router box blew up and that one did like i don't know like 75 feet or something like that so I was able to get internet back here with my computer. Can't do it now because I don't have uh, my internet range that doesn't go that far. So, but uh, yeah, uh, if I do plan on doing a live stream, I probably will make a video like a day ahead of time to let you guys know. So then if you guys are wanting to come, um, then we'll do it. But if we don't, do it then it probably won't really be until the springtime or until I can get a well it won't be to the spring because I'm not gonna really want to do anything in the wintertime too much so <clears throat> but I have to I either have to get a bigger router box which they're expensive as shit or if there's maybe if there's a way maybe if you guys know of where I could maybe put like a uh, antenna on the router box like through the little plugins and then run another one out in the shop on top of the roof. And then maybe that would ex extend my range. I don't know if they, they make those kind of things. <clears throat> so that way I don't have to buy a new box. I could just buy like a couple antennas and then put one on the roof and then one in the router box. Of course, how would you power the one out here? I suppose it could run off batteries or something stupid like that. So I could put it on a car battery. <laughs> you know, but... Yeah, so if anyone has any ideas of what I could do besides buy a new router box, let me know. But if not, then I'll probably just have to buy a bigger router box to get my internet range back out here again. <clears throat> back out here again, like I used to have it. So, but anyways, this is just going to be kind of another bitching video. Well, not, well, kind of. Um, I think this is not fair. I think it's a ripoff what I'm about to talk about. But I do understand, too, if you're a plumber. Yes, this is about plumbers. Now, my first plumber that I had called, uh, which is the one just over there on the North Dakota side, I had asked him to come and fix, because we thought it was a clog, you know, for the pipe. Um, he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't show up and he wouldn't do that. So I had to call the other plumber, right? Well, this old, this other, the first plumber, he did show up and he fixed my venting issue i did have a venting issue for uh the raw sewage and the vents and stuff like that like the little vents on top of your roof he says that they were full of ice so but he had he had other jobs to do too just besides that well you know what he uh, sent me a bill i just got a bill like 15 minutes ago from the mailman he charged me 65 dollars for one minute of work are you fucking serious? All he did was show up, 
grab his motherfucking ladder, run on top of my roof, stab a pipe down into the fucking thing, and and and, and put a and put a rain cap on top. And you're gonna charge me sixty five dollars. That took you less than a minute to do all that fucking shit. Really? I had I had so much more for you to do, and you and you didn't and you never showed up to fucking do it. I literally had to call the other plumber, and and he didn't do half the shit either. Like God, what the fuck is wrong with people nowadays? You know, I mean, I called you for more than for more than just one problem, and you only fixed. You know, you fixed my main problem, but I had a lot of other problems too, and you didn't. None of them showed up and did any of it. I told the first plumber, I needed a new water heater. I wanted my pipes insulated. I wanted uh, my vents checked. He did that. I wanted to know why I was having backup issues. Never did that. I had to call the other plumber for that. You know, the, the second plumber, he showed up. He fixed my problem for, you know, with the sewer. I told him about the water heater. I was like, yeah, I was just getting up there in age. Didn't say anything after that. Told him about um, about the venting on top of the roof again. I wanted him to double look. Wouldn't do it. He was afraid. He was afraid of falling and breaking his face. And because he had claimed that it had rained that day, and it was just you know when he, last time he was here, you know, and he said that it had, it had rained and snowed. And it never rained or snowed here when when he was here, or even all all the other days before that. It never rained here a damn bit, and my roof is clean. There's like no snow on my roof. Big freaking crybaby, but whatever. I haven't even gotten my bill yet from the second plumber, so I can't imagine what the hell that'll be. So, but he didn't, and then he said with the uh, with the the pipes, the, the copper pipes. He said that, he said that I didn't really have to do that. Well, you know, it does get cold down there. It doesn't get you know extremely cold. I think the coldest it's ever gotten down there. Because we did put like a little thermostat dewey down there. And I think the coldest it ever got was like maybe 45, 50 degrees. So I guess it's not cold enough for piping. But, you know, it can get a hell of a lot colder down there too. So, I, I you know, I would just feel safer if I had, you know, the shit on the pipes. You know, it would make me feel a little happier and safer. But no, he didn't want to do that either. So, like I said, I'm probably just going to do all that myself. But, you know... For the water heater deal, I'd rather have, you know, a pro do it, like a, you know, like a plumber or whatever, whoever the fuck does that. And none of them, none of them would show up and do it. I literally got a bill for my first plumber for $65 for him to just come check my damn vents. Really? You're charging me $65 for that little bit of BS? Really? Yeah, fuck that. That's a bunch of horse shit. I, I see why a lot of people nowadays just do it themselves because look at the price of that. I mean, I could go to the farm, get my get my big ladder, climb up there, and and stab a fucking pipe down it and fix it myself fucking self for free. It's ridiculous. It's it, no, I, no. Now I'm gonna argue about that too because you know, for one thing, he was supposed to show up and do all the other jobs too. He was supposed to figure out why I had that. The backup issue. He was supposed to replace my water heater, and he was supposed to um, foam my pipes. He didn't do any of that. Well, probably because he knew that the other plumber showed up. Because all these motherfuckers around here talk, and it's stupid. But you know, no, it's just it's just stupid. I'm not even gonna pay it because you know what? Fuck it. Well, I mean, I probably will pay it, but I mean, you know, I shouldn't have to for that little bit of work that he just did. I could understand if you charge ten, fifteen dollars for that little bit of work. You know, that's fine. Sixty-five for maybe two minutes of work? Are you fucking kidding me? What a damn ripoff! I can't well imagine what this other, this the second plumber's bill is going to be. Probably five hundred to a thousand, which is more reasonable because he actually showed up and he was able to solve my plumbing issue. So that's worth it. But for him to just, you know, come do two minutes of work and charge me $65, that's a ripoff. And then he failed. He had to show up and do all my other jobs. I had to go call another plumber to come do all the other jobs. And even and even then, he failed to do all my other jobs. You know. 
It's fucking, it's just, you know, it's fucking BS. Absolute BS. You're going to charge me $65 for two minutes of work? Yeah, you're not getting that out of me. That's a bunch of horse shit right there. You know, I mean, come on. If he would have shown up and did some other stuff for me too, then I wouldn't have, have, wouldn't have a problem paying for it. But if you're going to charge me $65 for just a two minutes of work, whatever. But you're going to have one hell of a time getting that money out of me because, you know, that's bullshit. I'm not, No, fuck that. Bunch of BS bullshit. You know, I understand, too, that they, they do have to make a paycheck. But you know what? You don't rip your customers off. You don't fucking overcharge for two minutes of work. Really? $65 for two minutes of work? Has, oh, is it just because you had to go find your big old ladder, climb on top of my roof, find the problem, climb back down the ladder, go to your truck, grab the pipe, climb back up the ladder again, and stab my pipes? It cost you $65 for your time? You're supposed to only get paid, like, something, in, I don't know what, you're supposed to get paid by the hour, not by the fucking minute. So, apparently this guy's charging by the minute. So now that that's quite a fucking bit. He was here for like two, three minutes, and it's sixty-five dollars for that for for those few minutes that he was here fixing my. It was fucking amazing that he even showed up and figured out my freaking uh, venting issue. But he, but he, but he, but he wouldn't come and do anything else. Claiming that he was always so damn busy all the fucking time, which I kind of really doubt. And people around here were telling uh, my sister that they were calling him too, the plumber on North Dakota side. My, the first plumber that I called, that they were having a hard time even getting a hold of him. That, and, and a lot of times he wouldn't even show up and do the job. And if he did do the fucking job, he, it, wouldn't, it, it wouldn't be right. So I don't know. It kind of kind of pisses me off. You know, I mean... No. You, you, you just, I don't see how you can charge $65 for just three minutes of work. Or two minutes of work, however long he was here. But he wasn't here for very fucking long. Bunch of bullshit. But whatever. That's just the way they play their fucking stupid games. So. That's just FedEx, by the way. So. Yeah. I think what's just going to have to happen is just that I'm going to have to start printing doing all everything myself. So. And I know, uh. Savage Noir showed me a link or gave me a link to uh, one of those snakes that the big plumbers have for the big pipes. Uh, but he showed me like a 25 foot some bitch. It's not as long as what this guy had, but I think it would be, you know, so it was like two, three hundred dollars. You know, it, at least it, you know, it would be better than nothing, you know. So, but I mean, I might as well just go ahead and buy it because it seems like I can't really, you know, depend on anyone else. I mean, yeah, my plumber showed up. My second plumber showed up and was able to figure it out. But he failed to do everything else. I gave him a list. I called him up and I said, this is what I exactly need done. And I did it to the first plumber too. Nope. I'll just take care of your venting issue and charge you $65 and say the hell with you. Fucking jackass some bitch. That guy needs to fucking grow up and do his fucking job, you know. And I know you people over there on the North Dakota side are watching my videos. Well, you can tell him to kiss my ass. Because he, he's a fucking joke. You know, I mean, I'm, I might as well go to fucking plumbing school and learn how to be a plumber. And do it right. And do it right the fucking first time. Instead of half-assing everything and charging someone so much for it. For just two minutes of work. It's just simply a, a goddamn ripoff. You know, I mean, I, I could understand him charging a lot if he did a lot. He only did two, two or three minutes of work, and that was nothing. How hard is it to climb up, up a goddamn ladder onto someone's roof, stab a fucking pipe, you know? And then, and then to put a fucking rain cap on top that was made out of copper. Well, copper is not that expensive, you know, especially for that tiny little piece of shit of copper that he put up there. And he's probably had that copper laying around for years. <laughs> whatever. I mean, whatever, you know. I mean, it's just... I find it kind of stupid, but... You know... It's just an, it's just another one of those fails. Because he failed to show up and do all the other jobs that I wanted him to do. 
I mean, if he would have came over, fixed my, you know, my uh, plumbing issue, foamed my pipes, put a new water heater in, did all that work for me, then it'd be worth paying. But for just one thing, you're going to charge me $65 and it only took you two minutes to do? Really? Yeah, fuck that. Next time, I'm just going to do it myself. You know, I mean, I if he charged me 10 or $15 for that job, fine, I wouldn't care. You know, that, that hell, I got that money standing by. I can easily pay that. But, you know, for $65 for that little bit of work, yeah. You're just ripping your customers off because you don't get enough goddamn business. It's kind of the same way with my internet slash TV slash everything else that they do do company too. You know, um, every like every year or two, the bill goes up two fucking dollars. So now my uh, phone bill, my internet bill, and my TV and all that horror happy horse shit, that's, that's all one big company. I'm paying almost $300, if not over that, to have everything that I want. And it seems like, too, as, you know, and uh, and a lot of people have been saying, too, well, I'm going to drop them and go get Dish Network or, or DirecTV. I can see why. Look at this fucking phone company slash TV slash every fucking thing else they do around here. It's a fucking joke. He charges $300, and half the time the cable doesn't even work. Like last night? Last night. Well, I was getting ready, ready to go to bed and stuff, you know, and then uh, my cable went out. Went out for about five minutes. Like, really? Stupid. And then my freaking, um, yeah, and then, then it was a fucking, I don't know if the box got screwy or something, or if the remote got screwy, but nothing worked. I couldn't turn my TV off. Well, I can't turn my TV off anyway through the cable box remote because it's a, it's a different TV and they don't have that kind of programming for my for my new TV. So, but I can't change the channels, can't turn the box off. I, I couldn't do anything for like three minutes or maybe uh, about a minute. I th I think that the box was having a freaking panic attack or something because it wasn't working. But then it finally snapped out of it and came back on and started working again. I'm like really. <sighs> Well, these fucking boxes, you know, for for our cable and stuff, they're fucking cheap China junk, you know? Get some real American-made shit, you know? Fucking cheap back. You know, another thing to do with these boxes, they're cheap. They're very cheap. And the same thing with, with the router boxes when I had gotten them from the, you know, the internet company. <clears throat> I think that they they were saying something, too, that, well, they're they're kind of like the cheapest boxes around. But you charge us a fucking fortune for it, though, huh? Ripping off sons of bitches. You know. Fucking joke. I don't even know why I keep like the 400 channels. Because for tell you honest, honestly, to tell you the truth, I don't even watch them anymore. Once in a blue moon do I do I ever watch that. No, well, you know. Another thing too is like, well, hell, there's never, there's never nothing on to my liking. You know, they always got something on that I don't like or... Or I, I just don't, you know, give a fuck about. Not really. Yeah, fuck that. Stupid, 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 stupid. But that's how they rip you off. And I really do want to quit, you know. I've been thinking about going to, uh, you know, DirecTV or to Dish Network. Um, and then there's a high-speed internet company just down the road from here. I, I guess apparently they actually actually have an antenna here. Um, the thing is, with their, their, their internet, they're charging like $65, $75 a month. This dealer, this person here that I'm dealing with now, they only charge me twelve, twelve dollars. Okay, well, with their internet, why they're probably charging so much is because for one, it never crashes, and two, I can probably upload a one-hour video in probably like two minutes. It takes me all day with these motherfuckers, and it'll take me probably all day now to upload this fucking this very video. I probably won't even get it up in time. It'll probably be kind of like a late video. So that's why I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible. But that's just, that's how it is. It's so, it's so freaking stupid. Bill T-Max has faster internet, internet than me. He can upload a one hour and 30 minute video in probably less than like 20, 30 minutes. It takes me, all, it would take me like all day. I've uploaded, uploaded one hour videos. And it takes me from 9 a.m. to midnight. And then some. You know, it's freaking garbage. But that's the way it is. So, but yeah, I didn't. I just want to tell you guys that little bit of BS that I think this, this plumber here is just a jackass. And 
ripping everyone off. But, you know, whatever. I, fuck, I don't even want to pay it, tell you the truth, because, you know what, he didn't, he failed to come do the other jobs that I wanted him to do. You know? He failed. So, therefore, you don't get my money because you failed to show up and do the rest of my jobs. I had to go call another plumber to just to even get another job done. And then that plumber yet failed to do some other jobs. Wow. I'm just going to go to plumbing school. Fuck it. I might, I might as well go buy my own brand new water heater, put it in my fucking self. Foam the fucking pipes myself. And I, and I am going to put a uh, flexible plastic piping hosing on the overflow pipe for the washer. Like, you know, where it was kind of peeing out there, that one that one video? Well, I'm just going to put a piece of pipe over it and then run that down to the sub pump. So then if I do have a backup issue again, then it won't go all over the floor. So, I can get a 25-foot roll of one and a half inch. I think that's what I need. It's one and a half inch flexi or flexible pipe. And I'll just cut it to size. Good enough. Gets the fucking job done. And Well, that's like 40 bucks for a 25-foot roll. At least I'm getting it done. You know. Stupid. You know, it kind of, it's just, it, it really disappoints, it really makes me mad and makes me never want to hire anyone. You know, I mean, I sometimes I kind of wonder if I should even call my, call my John Deere dealer when the time comes to do anything to my old John Deere. I mean, are they going to come, are they going to come pick it up and do it for me? Probably not. Well, they would probably pick it up because I know that when I called, um, well, I know that they would because the other John Deere dealer, when I bought this XM24, I bought it further away and they said, oh yeah, we'll, we'll we'll deliver it. So I know that if I had to, if it had a breakdown, they would come get it. And then my Polaris dealer, well, he's the closest one around. He said, yeah, you just give me a call and I'll come pick it up. Because I don't have a truck and a trailer to haul Big Red or the John Deere. So as long as I call the dealers that are closest to me, which my Polaris dealer is close, and then my main John Deere dealer... Is close. My other John Deere dealer is where I bought the tractor from. That one's a little further away. That's like an hour away. So, but he was the only one that had the tractor that I wanted. I didn't even know about the other, but my main John Deere dealer, um, I didn't, if they, I didn't know, didn't know that if they would have a tractor that I wanted. And about a week later, I went there to go buy a trimmer because it's when I was just starting to move into this place. I had to go buy stuff, you know, to, to maintain my yard. I went in there to go buy a trimmer. Like, well, I want a John Deere trimmer. What did I see sitting in this fucking building? An XM48. It's like, son of a bitch. That's, now that's what I need nowadays. It's like, I could have bought it then, and it was the same same, same price, too. 12000 with a, With a 62-inch mower deck. It's like, really? Come on. <sighs> Stupid, but whatever. I got a tractor. It does what I wanted to do, so I ain't going to bitch about it. But, you know... I guess it pays to look around first before just going out willy-nilly and buying shit, you know. But I kind of needed something right away, and I didn't want to wait around. But I didn't know that they would have one there, so I had to go to the dealer further away. So, whatever. Well, the main reason why I went to the other dealer further away was because I was originally thinking about getting a 3320 or a 3520. But I couldn't finance. And they said, well, we got smaller tractors to your price, price range. So... And, you know, about 12 grand is all I had left, or 13 grand for a tractor, so that's where the XM24 came in. But I could have turned around and went and got the XM48 for the, both, for the same price. But whatever. But anyway, guys, I'm going to take off. I do apologize for this long video. Hopefully, it'll get up today. I don't think I'll be making videos for a wee while because I don't have nothing to videotape. Um, the live stream thing won't be happening for a while. So... But anyway, guys, I'm going to go in and make some phone calls and uh, and upload this video and stuff. This phone needs to be put back on the charger, too. When it's out here in the cold, the battery kind of gets a little dickered, so... And my fingers are freezing. So anyway, guys, I'm going to take off, so I guess uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for, thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy.